Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, thank everybody for uh, taking some time to check the video out. It's always much appreciated. Guys, today I'm going to show you three modifications you need to do with your jigs before you make a cast with them. This is going to add up to uh, not only get more bites, but it's going to add up to you landing more bites once you get them. So go over those qu three quick tips here. And real quick, before we get started here, I just want to remind everybody, anyone interested in booking an on-the-water lesson with me, uh, just shoot me a private message on my Facebook page, Randy Block at Professional Angler. I'll give you all the details with that. Got a lot of good fishing around here and uh, just check it out if you guys get the chance. Okay guys, let's uh, talk about three modifications. These are three quick modifications I'm going to show you to do to every jig and uh, it's gonna, definitely going to help out. Now guys, here's my Block at Old School Jig right here. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about this a lot and also if you guys are interested in this, uh, they sell them at Baitworks exclusively. I'll put the Baitworks uh, Old School Jig link in the description if you guys would like to get you some. It's the uh, hand-tied living rubber skirt. Um, just it's, can't get a better jig than this. You guys are going to love it. So, Okay, here's the three modifications you need to make right off the bat. I'm going to show you why. Now, we used to, on the Old School Jig, guys, we used to trim the weed guard here, but we decided to leave it. Uh, stock because a lot of people like to trim their weed guards in different ways um, but I'm going to show you how I like to trim mine these are the three things I do before I make a cast with a jig now the first thing you want to do see how the the weed guard is not in line with the hook right here the first thing I like to do is I want to make sure this weed guard the end of it is in line with the hook so I'm going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to just cut parallel to the top of the hook like that now what this does a couple different things it gives the jig a more streamlined look but it also allows the jig the the end of the weed guard to flare out a little bit more on the end and i think that adds for a better hook set now the second thing with that is i actually flare the fibers out depending upon the cover if the cover is super thick like it's gnarly flooded bushes I leave it just like this because it's stiffer. The, the guard is stiffer before you bend it out. So if you're penetrating the thickest cover, leave it like that. But if you're pitching around marginal thickness, say for example, if you're throwing into lay down trees or grass beds or um, maybe around boat docks or stumps, you want to fan this thing out. So take it and just spread the fibers out on it side to side. And what this does is it gives you a little separation in it and when you separate those fibers, it makes the hook set penetration easier there. It sort of breaks up that stiffness. Now, again, you need the stiffness and thick cover, but if you're fishing a little bit sparser cover, just fan it out. That's going to add up to a lot more bites for you. And the third thing, guys, is trimming the skirt. Now, the skirt trimming, it depends on the trailer you're using. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. If you're, if you're using a trailer like this zoom super chunk here and you're threading it on like that with a frog where it's longer you want that longer skirt like that so you know you want it to cover part of that but anyway i don't want any uniformity so even on a long skirt like that i'm going to come in here and i'm going to cut you know a few of the strands out you know just to give it a little bit more of an uneven look like that and notice how much Sort of that's a little bit, it's not uniform and perfect. That's going to add up to more bites. But you want the meat of the chunk covered up, but you don't want the trailer covered up. So that's like that. Now, if I thread it on, say for example, the modification I'm going to make is I'm going to even trim it up even more. So if I thread it on like this, like most people do, you can see like that the skirt is longer. So I want to remove some of that skirt on the legs to show the legs a little better so again i'm going to come through i'm going to cut it at uneven angles like that to where more of the the actual trailer shows up like that that's the way to do it guys that will get bites right there those are three quick modifications guys i do not fish a jig until i make those three modifications um, this has come from a lot of years of experimentation it's going to get you more bites you're going to land more bites once you get them. So anyway, guys, give it a try. Again, I'll put the Block of Old School Jig link in the description here in the video, and we'll talk later.